Okay, uh, hey guys, we are live, um, and uh, it's again boundless uh, because I really love the gameplay. Uh, but unfortunately, it can be a bit expensive to buy at the moment, so uh, yeah. Okay, so um, this uh, episode, I guess, um, uh, of, of my stream, right, for Boundless, is to uh, uh, give you all a sneak peek of uh, how uh, uh, the underground world is in this game. And of course, uh, the, the question that uh, most new players will ask is uh, where to find copper ores and ancient tech components which you need to uh, build your uh, workbench. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna give you some quick tips before you start uh, digging your way down into the underworld because. Uh, apparently, uh, if you happen to bump into some really, uh, let's just say, troll-like players, then you'll have a really hard time. So this is what I would uh, suggest you to do. All right. So okay, let's let's go to the game. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So uh, this is actually the little home that I built for myself. All right. So let's just close the door first. Okay, so uh, this is uh, what you want to build, uh, the workbench, which will require, uh, let's see, um, right, uh, any base metal, which uh, the starting metal is actually copper, so you need uh, three bars of uh, copper, bar, uh, yeah, three bars of copper, and uh, one ancient tech remnant. Alright, so, uh, before you start digging anywhere, I would suggest you to build a beacon control because uh, as you can see, uh, it allows you to claim a piece of land. So um, because digging underground, right, you'll, if you have played Minecraft before, you'll probably want to build like a, a staircase down so that you can easily climb back up whenever you want. And um, the underground section of the game can be quite deep. Alright, so yeah, it's best to have a beacon control uh, at hand, and of course uh, you need a lot of uh, flint and sticks. So it's best to go out and just chop a bunch of trees. You know, get the wood, uh, craft them into sticks if you want. If not, you can just keep the wood as they are. And flint might be a bit tricky because um, they're not really, uh, they don't really come from uh, blocks. Instead, you need to keep an eye out for uh, boulders. They are, uh, I guess, round-like uh, uh, stones uh, that can be quite rare to find. But uh, I, I don't really remember how I got so many, uh, so much flint. But uh, yeah, it, sometimes you stumble upon them. Uh, you just need to go out, go out and uh, just roam around. You know, uh, they are usually found on the ground, obviously. Uh, but you can also find uh, find some of them uh, underground because they are basically boulders, right? circular ones instead of those uh, voxel style uh, bricks and uh, I would suggest you to uh, instead of just bringing the basic wood hammer which is, is I mean it still work but uh, you might want to get a few spare uh, heavy hammers uh, maybe a couple of shovels one or two uh, if you plan to go down for quite some time and also uh, the usual stuff you know food because you need uh, a plenty of energy to uh, dig your way in and uh, if worse comes to worse then you need to build your way out all right um, or you can just log out and log in again that works as well um, but if you want to experience the game uh, in a minecraft like uh, uh, fashion then yeah i would suggest you uh, to uh, make sure to uh, not fall into any deep holes because uh, they can be quite hard to get up uh, from. Okay, and uh, of course, get a ton of stones because just in case you need to build staircases and that sort of stuff. Um, and get enough uh, materials t for a couple of uh, campfires if you do plan to s uh, stay underground for quite some time, right? Uh, I'll tell you why in a bit. Um, and what else? Uh, you don't really need a crafting table, so you don't need to bring one down. But if you want, you, you can bring one, uh, so that you don't have to really craft everything uh, in advance and uh, bring them down 
uh, uh, underground, right? You can just set up a crafting table there and just craft everything uh, downstairs, right? Um, I guess that's it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, in string, I have uh, like multiple crafting tables. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I guess I remember I have twenty of them. Okay, so uh, I'll just what is this? Uh, okay, so um, I'll just dump this here because I don't even need it. Uh, get some food. I don't really have a lot, so uh, I guess that they will just uh, work for now. Um, this is a bit few. Uh, I would suggest getting like thirty plus uh, wood just in case, you know. Um, but if not, uh, that's fine as well. We will just make do, right? And uh, I'll bring a crafting table. Uh, right, I guess that's it. Let's go. Alright, so a uh, quick tip, right? Uh, before you start just randomly digging uh, your way down uh, to, uh, to the underground, you want to pick a spot where, uh, uh, like this, right? This is actually my mining spot. So uh, it, it, uh, it was previously kind of like a a hole in the ground with a plenty of uh, rocks all over uh, all around it so that's the best place to start because usually uh, it will uh, it indicates that there's a cave underneath and you can if you're lucky you can find uh, copper ores uh, in, in abundance there um, so yeah this is uh, actually my uh, mining area so before you start digging anything because if you don't uh, kind of like claim the plot of land uh, as yours, then whatever you dig, right? Uh, the game, and then I mean, if once you logged out, uh, log out from the game, uh, and uh, the game will just automatically fill up all the uh, uh, empty spaces that you've uh, dug with uh, random blocks. So uh, you don't want that. You want to have a dedicated mining area. So uh, if that's the case, then uh, of course you need this uh, beacon. Oh, I haven't named beacon. Okay, let's see. Uh, we name it as mining. Right. Okay, so uh, right, so just put a beacon there, and it's also uh, useful, as I've mentioned, uh, to deter uh, trolls from filling up uh, your pit with like random blocks as well. Uh, yeah, they do do that uh, for whatever reason. Okay, just to troll you, I guess, and uh, of course, get tons of uh, torches um, because underground can be really, really dark. Um, I'll show you uh, how in a bit, but I've actually placed uh, quite a bit of uh, torches down there, so uh, yeah, maybe we can go somewhere else. Alright, so uh, I've dug actually uh, kind of like a stair of sorts. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty dark here, right? Uh, I want to save on torches because flint. Uh, Separately quite rare, so uh, you can just equip it instead of uh, just placing torches all over the place because uh, yeah, it's again flame is quite rare uh, in this game. It's not like Minecraft where you can craft tons of torches and just leave them all over the place, right? So yeah, I place one here. So this is uh, actually a staircase. It's uh, not really well made. Uh, I just randomly put some blocks together. Right, so this is, uh, if I don't have this torch, right, and I don't have uh, a torch quick, this is basically what you'll see, pitch blackness, it's total darkness, alright, so torches are really, really important, I cannot stress this, uh, stress this enough, alright, so uh, remember to mark uh, your staircase, alright, so you don't uh, go uh, exploring, you know, uh, venture off and then, you forgot to uh, mark uh, your, your staircase and you have to dig your way out uh, all over again. So um, as you can see the basic torch is the light right uh, provided by the torch is really um, small so you can't really see a lot uh, you you have to go like really really close so um, don't run all right while you're underground never run because you might never know there'll be a, like a hole there and you'll drop further in with uh, almost no way of finding your way uh, out, especially when you don't have enough torches. As you can see, I only have uh, three, um, although I can craft a couple more. Right, so um, let me just show you uh, uh, what 
the, the copper or uh, brick looks like okay because I actually found one before I started the stream so I just wanted to show you um, and if you're lucky uh, I'll dig a couple uh, areas here maybe explore a bit more and if you're lucky uh, we'll find uh, ancient new fragments because uh, if you notice right in my inventory I've already found them uh, sorry ancient tech remnants <laughs> in fact, no, no. okay so uh, ancient tech remnants uh, so yeah I actually found it in my first one, uh, uh, my first uh, drop, I guess, into the underworld. Right, so um, remember to mark your path again, very important, so you know uh, where your staircase is, is. And um, do you recall the thing about I mentioned about uh, the campfires, right? So uh, because uh, the plot that you can claim, right, it's quite limited. Okay, so you'll want to place campfires uh, the further you explore just so that uh, the game won't just uh, fill back uh, all the spots you've dug with uh, random blocks unless you wanted uh, the game to do so then that's fine you know, sometimes uh, the game might regen some like copper ore bricks you know who knows but uh, I don't want that to happen so uh, I'll set up like a campfire there maybe you can put some crafting tables over there so yeah, it, it works out, okay? And then I think if I'm not mistaken, there's a huge hole somewhere here. Uh, maybe I can show you. I nearly fell into it, so... <laughs> okay, so this is my second uh, porch. Um, it's to indicate the path. And uh, as you can see, it's like totally dark here. Um, so you need to be really, really careful. Uh, Alright, so where do I go? Just like... Um, Okay, now this is funny. I seem to have uh, gotten myself lost. I think it's here. Um, wait, let me see. Uh, no, I think this is here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this is incorrect. I just want to, uh, yeah, just show a dead end over there. Alright, so uh, it's actually here. Maybe I should put another torch here. It's, it's like... I remember it's like... Uh, let's see. Now I'm lost. That's funny. Uh, let's just put a touch here. Yeah. yeah, as you can see, the uh, peak, uh, peak at the uh, left side of the screen, right? Uh, world regeneration. So if you place any block or anything, actually, basically, uh, on uh, unclaimed land, then uh, the item might just uh, disappear. So, yeah. Uh, if you want to know whether this this like this area uh, is clean or not, you just uh, press B, right? And uh, you can see the green lines here. That's actually the edge of your uh, plot. So uh, if I lock out, this torch will be gone. Right, so uh, I'll grab it back. Because I don't think my campfire is here. Dang, where did I put my campfire? Now I'm lost. Okay, give me a sec. Uh, I am terrible when it comes to directions, so... Uh, oops, I <laughs> nearly fell in. We can actually go really deep. Ah, yeah, got it, found it. Okay, so I might need to put another torch here. Just so I don't, don't forget. Um, I think the edge is like over here, right? So I can put a torch right here. Okay, so I can see it from here, so that should be nice. Alright, so <laughs> this is actually my path. Um, okay, so sometimes you get some wildlife. Alright, so that's my next plot over there. I think this is not included. Uh, yeah, so this torch will really disappear right now. Uh, once I lock up. Okay, so... Yeah, if... I would really suggest, uh, if you want at least your, your uh, underground path to remain open and available to you, then uh, I would strongly suggest uh, crafting a ton of campfires and just placing them. And oh yeah, one more thing, um, because uh, placing campfires, right, it requires uh, you having uh, available plot space, 
so uh, just press tab okay and go to exchange right and if you notice there's a qubits uh, you've got two types of currencies coins and qubits so qubits uh, is uh, the premium currency of the game and uh, it will help you uh, if you buy at least you buy this stuff you can uh, extend the available available plots uh, that you can build on and claim uh, you can claim and build on is the other way around uh, so i would suggest uh, buying accumulating as much qubits as you can and just buying uh, the uh, most uh, worthwhile uh, purchase which uh, apparently is not uh, this i think no it's, it's still the same thing all right so um you have had how many qubits you just uh buy whatever you want all right it's apparently the same thing yeah there's no discounts for you if you buy more right so uh, for uh, a campfire to be built, you need to have one available plot. So uh, if you buy this, you can build two campfires. If you buy this, you can build five campfires and so on and so forth. All right. So to get qubits, uh, mostly you can just claim the rewards here. Um, yes, because uh, if you uh, gain like kind of like achievements, I guess, or you reach certain milestones, then you get um, rewards, which you can open. And you get some currencies and stuff like that. Uh, Sometimes I think, uh, yeah, you get currencies uh, mainly, you know, either coins or qubits or both. Right, so you need plots to build campfires, and uh, you might want to put more campfires if uh, you want to uh, like keep uh, the plots, uh, the, the at least whatever you place here, uh, safe from uh, world regeneration. Right, so I'll just Total of the uh, plot uh, indicator. Right, so I'm gonna place this here since I've already cleaned the land. And uh, oops, wait, I forgot to. Right. So with this, I can uh, craft stuff like uh, yeah, whatever stuff I want, basically. So I can get like, more hammers if I need them. I would really like to build this. I, I, I need to get some food. Alright, so next. Uh, right, so uh, let's just craft one, one more batch of uh, torch. Okay, I'm running low on food. Okay, it's because I don't think two torches is. Uh, uh, I don't know. Alright, so. Um, Okay, just to let you see what a basic uh, block of uh, copper looks like. Uh, okay, so this uh, sometimes, right? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, you need to walk really carefully while you're underground because uh, the underground world can be <laughs> quite deep, and you don't want to fall into holes like this. It's totally pitch black, you know, inside. And okay, so this is what I'm going to show you. Okay, <laughs> so this. If you can see the speckled uh, brick here, these are the copper ore bricks that you want. And uh, these are apparently uh, ancient fossil bricks. Um, this is the first time I've seen them actually. So let me just build a staircase downwards. Uh, is this? Uh, okay. This looks uh, really, really shaky. Uh, I really want to fall into it. Alright, I don't really like triangle bricks. Um, let's see. Because they, they just look so flimsy, right? You're, you're basically standing on half a voxel. So, it's just... Uh, I, I don't feel safe, you know, standing on that kind of uh, bricks. Okay, um... Okay, I might need to remove my torch first. Um, yeah, let's just do this instead. Um, right. Uh, okay, let's just remove this as well. Replace this with, uh, with uh, something more solid. Right. Down I go. Um, what else? Uh, let's see. Do this here. Right. Okay, well, not the form, right? Okay. Now I'm uh, gonna change you into hammer and small fossil seed. Nice. 
so I got let's see what did I get small fossil so I'm guessing we can sell this eventually uh, let's see the details oh it's a crafting ingredient yeah pretty cool yeah. all right now where's the copper oh it's down there all right so let's just uh, reclaim this uh, we'll use the uh, existing bricks here um, to craft another uh, staircase down okay, let's just jump here switch back to the hammer so your character ah yeah I can get it already okay all right this is just great um okay let's just go back to my place uh right so I need to climb all the way down okay. Let me just do a double check because I'm not sure whether my s uh, stream is uh, reconnected. Oh yeah, it is. Great. Right, let's let's go. Uh, where is my building spot? Oh yeah, it's over there. Right, so thank goodness for this, right? If you locked out uh, in the middle of uh, digging around, then yeah, you'll probably have to redo everything. All the digging. Um, so it's important to have like uh, campfires to, to help you claim lands and etc. But uh, my torch is still here, so that's good. Oh, is it? No, 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 I don't think this is the path. It's, uh, yeah, it's down here. Ah, oh, okay, so yeah, as you can see, this is a boulder, right? So you can get flint from this boulder. Uh, as you can see, the top right corner, it says uh, plus one flint. So this is what uh, you want to... Uh, Keep an eye out for okay, boulders for flip. Alright. Let's see. Okay, this is a bit bad. Okay. Um, right, so this is my uh, campfire. So let's go there. Nice, right? Okay, uh, so it's beacon. Um, campfire is the cheaper option, I guess, because it's. Uh, it's kind of temporary. Uh, you have you only have feel for it for like one hour plus, and it will be gone. So it's kind of like a temporary claim on the plot of land. If you want, like, to set up a, a, a more solid outpost here, then you will want to uh, craft this. Oh, if, yeah, okay. Wait, just, uh, you want to uh, craft uh, a beacon control, right? So actually, I can craft a beacon control. Uh, let's see. How many can we do for right? Okay, so okay, so I think I'll uh, I'll probably replace the campfire with a beacon because I'm gonna uh, place my crafting table here, uh, pretty much permanently. And so yeah, right. Um, okay, where did I DC from? All oh, right, it's here. Okay, so uh, the Carefully make my way down. Uh, be careful not to sprint. Okay, heavy hammer. Great. And dig. So as you can see, top right corner plus two copper ore per brick. So that's pretty, pretty good deal. Let's say. Right, give me a set. Uh, just put it here. So I'm not gonna stand here and uh, mine this brick because uh, if there's nothing underneath, then I'll fall right through, right? Uh, this is basic Minecraft uh, common sense. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna do that. Uh, okay. Let me check. Uh, I'm actually on my phone right now because uh, I'm seeing something. Just, uh, just a bit. Okay, we will just stick here. Okay, let's get it done. 
Alright. Okay, so um this one can put one book one brick down. Okay. Alright, so I can mine this copper in uh, relative uh, safety. Alright, uh, I can do this as well. Should be fine. Okay, so it's lucky I'm not standing on the brick, right? Or I'll just fall right through. Okay, so now I need to get to that brick over there. So, um, okay, so this this is a very flimsy brick. Let's just remove this. Let's clear this so I can have a clear view of the copper ore that I want. And uh, I should put a torch here. Okay. Let's put a torch here. Alright, so put this here, put this here, put this here, put this here. It's really dark. Oh wow, okay. So, uh, yeah, by placing stuff, building stuff, basically uh, crafting stuff, uh, gathering stuff, you will get, uh, like what I said before, uh, uh, achievements or milestones. So you can uh, earn, uh, let me see. Uh, I need two bits of coins, so let's collect them. Okay, I got coins and I also uh, experience points. So uh, the higher le uh, level you are, uh, I guess the more hardy you are. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is really dark. Uh, I don't use that one. Okay. okay, don't fall. I don't use it, don't fall. Okay, so shoot. Oh, it's actually not so far away. Oh, what is that? That looks like iron. Alright. This is awesome. Um, right, so I guess if it's not a long fall, this might be a long fall. Look at that pitch black. Okay, we over there. But this is a pretty short fall. Okay, so let me just put the torch here. Right, nice. I think this is iron. Okay, let me just uh, take this first. of copper here okay so my item is, uh, is destroyed so that is why uh, it's important for you to uh, at least have the materials you know to craft a ton of this hammer since you're underground and everything uh, it's again it's like minecraft you want to bring a ton of big axes right uh, right don't make a scene about the copper scene <laughs> same block different colors I really like the achievements, the titles, they are really uh, interesting. Right. Ooh, ton of copper here. Okay, sometimes you get like one copper ore, right? I really don't fall. Okay. Yes. Oh, more copper. Nice. Alright, I think I'll need to build the. Uh, Another path here. What is this? Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's put this here. Alright. Should be correct. Can I stack up this so I can climb up? Oh, okay, I'm a bit scared that I might fall. So. Oh, okay, so I need to remove this. Ah, okay, I'm just right above the copper scene. Alright, we got quite a bit of copper. Alright, that's good. So let's see. Uh, uh, okay, so just in case right, you're confused or something, uh, this is gravel. This looks a lot like iron. This is gravel. Okay, let's check. I'm pretty sure this is gravel. Yep, gravel. So. Uh, just in case you're confused, gravel, uh, probably iron ore. Let's let's take it. Okay, uh, I'm build another staircase here so I can climb back up. Okay, let's see. Uh, wrong tool. Oh, it's soft coal seam, not iron. All right, that's still pretty good. Uh, you need uh, coal. Oh, nice. This is 
barrel. Oh, this is so close. Right, uh, if you notice uh, at the top left corner of the screen, right, there's actually a, a quest called a Mountain High Cave Deep. So one of the like, let me just show you. Oh, um, and if you're going to play the game, right, uh, quick tip again, uh, do the objectives because uh, they're not only kind of like an interactive uh, tutorial, I guess, um, but uh, they do come in handy because they give you quite a, a bit of uh, rewards here, and they introduce uh, the quest, right, uh, the objectives introduce you to the world, so yeah. Uh, especially like uh, the different types of uh, materials that you can get, right? So, acquire soft coal, I need uh, 10 more. So, it's good that I found this. Okay. I actually found a couple of this uh, early on, but I haven't really. Uh, I, I didn't really take note of the uh, pattern of the bricks. So now uh, we know what a soft coal seam look like, uh, but we are still nowhere near to an ancient uh, room remnant. Oh, okay. And uh, if you notice, right, uh, there's an orange bar right below your health bar at the very bottom, uh, middle bottom, I guess, of the screen. So uh, that's actually your energy, and you don't want to depend it. It'll regen, but uh, it'll the, the bar, right? If you notice, there's like kind of like a white. Uh, uh, there's a threshold there, so the more you use it, the more it'll deplete, but it'll still uh, regen, right? And uh, if it's uh, if the orange area of the screen is uh, of the bar is too small, then you need to start uh, eating food. Um, this is actually covered uh, in the tutorial, so uh, you shouldn't have any problem with it. Alright, so um, okay. I got my food here. So to eat food, what you do is you just uh, if it's uh, if you grip it on the left side, uh, left hand, then you just click the left mouse button. Just click and hold, okay. And uh, as you can see, I'm regenerating my uh, energy. Okay, last one. And I'm out of food. And you can get a bath when uh, you're full, so that's pretty cool as well. Okay, um, right. So I've got all the soft coal I need. And I really don't want to fall here. But I'm really curious to see what's inside. Um, okay, let's, let's just not do this for now. Uh, so this is the staircase. Let's, let's just. Ah, nice, a boulder. You could uh, always use some extra flame, so if you see a boulder, just crush it. Use whatever tools are uh, necessary. Right. You need the boulder. Okay, so uh, let's see. Lots of uh, rock. Oh, I found. S ah, alright, so this is the, um, the cheap, what do you call it? Ancient tech remnant, right? So this is uh, what a uh, ancient tech remnant brick looks like. Right, so I got one. Pretty cool. Okay, I found some more soft coal seed. So um, obviously, the deeper you go, you can get uh, better uh, ore. I'm sure you can get uh, iron if you go uh, one more layer deeper, which I'm probably gonna do in a bit. I um, will uh, probably start a new stream because this is supposed to be an uh, intro to uh, like the most basic ores. So I've shown you copper. I've shown you the, how to get uh, on how to identify more like um, an uh, ancient tech weapon. So my job is done basically. And uh, uh, boundless. This game is still available uh, for free. Uh, it's to play with you, at least for this weekend. So uh, if you're interested, be sure to drop by, check it out. I really like the gameplay, but um, the monetization uh, might be a bit... <laughs> I don't know. It feels like the game, it's a buy-to-play game actually, it's hence the free weekend. So uh, it, it just feels like the... Oh, I found another one. Awesome. So uh, it, it just feels like 
the, this buy to play game, this paid game, right, is trying to uh, use uh, money. Uh, sorry, what is it called already? Um, free to play uh, monetization techniques. So you'll have like. Uh, premium stuff like uh, as I mentioned before qubits right uh, it's basically a uh, premium currency and if you notice uh, earlier on I've shown you a bit an exchange map. oh nice I got some more alright so uh, like for outfits right uh, you'll need to spend qubits and uh, obviously you don't get a ton of qubits just by playing the game and if you do get a ton of qubits which uh, I, I guess I did. I have like six, seven hundred plus qubits, which I used to uh, buy some extra plots. So uh, yeah, you'll probably use a lot of qubits to buy plots, so you don't really have uh, extra qubits to just buy this uh, cosmetic stuff. They are cosmetics, but um, for a paid game to lock uh, cosmetic stuff uh, behind a paywall, yeah, I don't think it's such a good idea, right? It's still a paid game, but um. The, the whole rationale is that uh, developers, right? They uh, they are deciding between uh, subscription base or uh, the free to play method, which is uh, in game shop, right? Having an in game shop and everything. Uh, and apparently, they decided to go with uh, in game shop, and I think a lot of players uh, don't like that as much. They they have a couple of um, mechanics as well you know, to uh, kind of like hamper or at least slow down your progress. Um, like for example, if uh, you craft stuff, right? Uh, unlike in Minecraft, uh, uh, you can only queue up to like ten items, which uh, isn't really ideal. But uh, you can have like bulk queuing. Maybe I can show you. Let's see. Uh, okay, I would like to go continue, on, but let's see. Where is my path? Did I jump the right thing? Okay. Oh yeah, this is wrong. This is the path. Right, I get the game I get lost really easily, so and it's a surprise that I actually like playing my path. I got lost multiple times there. Okay, um so let me just show you a bit because I need uh, to get brick as well. So you can uh, craft uh, an item individually, which uh, it will be cute individually. Right, so if I click twice, then it'll be cute uh, twice. But if you want to craft a ton of stuff at the same time, then you want to opt for the pop option. So you can craft 10 items uh, and it'll only take up one Q spot. So that's the important thing. Uh, for mass crafting, uh, this is basically like if you need uh, a lot of uh, blocks to build whatever masterpiece you want to build then you'll need this but then you need to unlock this uh, which you can access through your character and skip uh, it's it's probably somewhere here but uh ah yeah i guess it's this one right it's this one so you need uh, five skill points um, and uh, if possible i would highly recommend you to max out this too because you need these a lot uh, i'm not a huge fan of uh, gathering dirt <laughs> But I'll eventually upgrade this as well. And once this is done, I would highly suggest you to get at least one for all of this. Because since uh, I don't have access to gold or silver or even titanium ores yet, so just one is enough. So just so I can unlock uh, copper based uh, tools, right? As well as weapons, tech, and decorations, machines, and uh, food. Um, for food, I still haven't unlocked the uh, kitchen yet, or a stove or something, I'm not sure. Um, because in this game, right, you can't really use your campfire to cook anything, it's basically a beacon. So, yeah. Right, um, again, I've veered completely off. Uh, this is supposed to be a short tutorial uh, about uh, how, how you can find copper, how you can find ancient tech remnants, which you need to uh, craft the workbench. Um, but yeah. So that's it, um, I'm gonna continue uh, all of this in a uh, uh, separate stream, okay? So, so see you in a bit, I'll just pause the game for a bit, alright.